what what have you learned throughout your uh, journey that you wish you had known when you started in, uh, with regards to mixing um i mean i guess you kind of just have to go through it a little bit but i think with mixing um i will say this i do think mixing is important because you do want a high quality product but i've heard some questionable mixes with quite a bit of views on beats like some beats with a lot of views. So um, so I think like it's that core idea of like the initial like idea of what really gets people. But uh, so like mixing, I keep, I think sound selection is more important, like much more important than like putting effects on after. Um, like there are some things that like, like filters or something like that, that like make a big difference. But like, and like, most i'd say like 90 percent of my beats i don't eq my kick or my snare or my hi-hats like i just i just pick the ones that sound right for the beat like i'll spend more time picking the right hi-hat and the right kick and the right snare versus trying to throw a kick in there and then trying to make it the right kick afterwards i just don't think it works that way um so yeah and then uh volume levels like you can get like it's all about volume levels um, in my opinion. So it's like sound selection, then volume levels are like the two major things. So like, um, you definitely want your drums like sitting on top of the melody and the music, um, for hip hop. And then, uh, yeah. And then you, there's a plugin I use, it's called isotope tonal balance. And I throw that on the master and that's going to tell you it's got, got all these meters for like the low end, like the, uh, like low, mid, mid, and then high. And it like all the meters go up and down and you can see like how level your beat is. And that's gonna be all volume levels. Like you need more bass, you turn up your bass. You need more high end, you turn up your hi hats. Or if you have like the strings in the music or whatever, you can turn that up to get it more balanced. But I always run my beats through that isotope tonal balance plugin. Um, and it just like gives you like, it just shows you how well balanced your beat is. And so if a beat like, some people think like, especially in the beginning that like you, if you want your drums to hit hard, you got to like turn them all the way up. Um, sometimes it's just like being well balanced, like across the board makes everything sound better. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but um, so yeah, I use that, that plugin just to really like, and it's like, it's like another way to be like completely unbiased. Like I might think it sounds good, but that plugin's telling me something different. And so like, then I'll either give my ears a break and then come back and like rebalance it or something like that. But um, yeah. And then on the master, I just throw uh, T-Rex soft clipper and then like T-Rex brick wall limiter. <laughs>